All right, guys, today we're diving into two major retcons in the Boruto series that have fans scratching their heads. These aren't just minor tweaks. We're talking about changes that kind of mess with what we thought we knew about certain abilities and rules. So let's get into it. First retcon, Karma Absorption. So the first retcon we're gonna talk about happens within the Boruto series itself and doesn't really mess with any rules established back in Naruto. I'm talking about the karma absorption abilities of Boruto and Kawaki. If you remember during the Jigen arc, we see Kawaki absorbing Shikamaru's shadow paralysis jutsu with his karma to break free. It's pretty cool, right? Makes you think, yeah, these karma users can absorb pretty much any jutsu thrown at them. But fast forward to the code arc, and we've got Boruto, who's possessed by Momoshiki at this point, caught in the same shadow paralysis jutsu from Shikamaru. You'd think he'd just absorb it like Kawaki did, right? But nope, Boruto can't absorb it with his karma, and instead he has to use brute force to break free. Like, what? Where's the consistency, man? It's like they just forgot how karma's supposed to work. Now, the second retcon is even weirder because it changes a rule we knew since the Shippuden War arc. Back then, Ten Tails Jinchuriki like Madara or Obito couldn't be harmed by any jutsu unless it had Sage Chakra. That rule was ironclad. But Boruto flips this whole thing on its head with the introduction of Code's Ten Tails evolution. After Ishiki Otsutsuki dies, Code takes control of a Ten Tails seedling and uses his claw marks to create these creepy fission beings called Claw Grimes. Three years later, what's left of the Ten Tails splits into four unique beings. Unlike the mindless Claw Grimes or the original Ten Tails, these new forms evolve with their own appearances, mimicking those absorbed by the lesser Claw Grimes. They're self-aware, have their own personalities, and even their own desires. Here's where it gets wild. Unlike the old Ten Tails or Jinchuriki, these new creatures can be damaged by normal jutsus. Sarada's Chidori Stream, for example, actually works against one of them. Back in Shippuden, this kind of attack wouldn't even scratch a Ten Tails Jinchuriki without Sage Energy, but now it's suddenly effective. So, did the Ten Tails just get nerfed, or is this some kind of weird evolution we're not fully understanding yet? 